Four years ago, we took a chance on us. You moved across the country, not once, but twice, just to be by my side. We're all gathered here today in the presence of God to witness and bless the joint together of Alan and Constance in the covenant of holy marriage. I love Connie like the sister I never had. One day she messaged me saying she met someone and might be interested. It was a guy far away in Texas who turned out to be Alan. I've really enjoyed watching Alan mature um, these past few years after he met Connie. So, who remembers Alan when he tried to grow that beard? Connie, my love honey. When he accepted me with full mustache and goatee, which had been growing for a full year, I knew you were the one, and I knew I couldn't let you get away. Life is sweeter because of your kindness. I am braver because of your adventurous spirit. You point me to Jesus every time I need a reminder of His goodness, and I am grateful every day that God brought you to me. I vow always to stand by your side, to protect you, to keep you warm, to keep adventuring with you. Last and most importantly, I promise to lead us in our marriage in a way that glorifies the love and the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Wow, honey. As their relationship progressed, I saw all the ways Alan was great for Connie and how he balanced and complimented her. Alan has shown he is as devoted to Connie as she is to him. I promise to love you, to care for you, to laugh with you, all in our coming years, to say yes to whatever adventures lie ahead. I promise to always believe in us all the days of my life. Alan's facial hair was scraggly, and she did not run away. In fact, she got him to clean it up and shave it the very weekend they met. The best thing about Alan is he consistently makes Connie happy and feel loved. He loves her the way she needs and deserves. There is nothing more I could want from my best friend. I pronounce you now as husband and wife. And what God has joined together, let no one separate. You know what to do.